It's Leah Remillay with GoForProPhotos.com and this is Video Friday, the place to be to polish up the professional side of photography. Today we're talking about all those big ideas that you want to get done but never do and how to fix it so that you actually get to see them be completed. Today's question comes from Ohio and Megan G writes, Hey Leah, I am a visionary, always having new ideas and creative outbursts, and I love to start new projects. But what I lack is the ability to get down to the nitty gritty and get shiz done, like book work and follow ups and finishing all the projects that I've started. I would love your insights on how to overcome this hurdle. Thanks lady. This is a great question, Megan, because this is a problem that I'd say 99% of creatives have. The thing is, we get this amazing idea and so we want to get started on it and we get working on it and then it sparks a new creative idea and this new creative idea is so awesome that we have to stop the current one so that we can start working on the new one. But then guess what happens? During that new creative idea, then a new spark happens and there's a new creative idea that follows after that. So now we're to our new, new, new creative idea and that old creative idea, the first one, well, it's, well, none of them are getting done. So. What are we going to do to make sure that all of these fabulous creative outbursts actually see the light of day? Because ultimately, the difference between dreams and reality is action. Today I've got seven strategies for you on how to get the mundane done. Number one is the nightcap. Now the success for tomorrow often heavily depends on the strategizing you've done today. So before the day wraps up or before you go to bed, make sure that you're writing down the top three to five items that are your biggest priorities and you absolutely want to make sure you get done tomorrow. Number two, create a project map. Now this doesn't have to be absolutely everything, but it can be if you want it to be. Let it be a rough draft outline or the full detailed report, but make sure you're writing down the different tasks that are going to need to be done. That way, if there are some items that are slightly more overwhelming, you can do a little research or break them down even smaller to make sure you get them completed. Number three, eat the frog. Yum. Okay, so when you have a task in front of you that you don't feel like doing, don't wait and don't try to take a bunch of time trying to decide how to prepare the frog. Mm -mm. Just suck it up and slurp it down and get rid of it. That's the best way to handle the mundane or the overwhelming, whatever it is that you just don't want to do. Number four, find your zone. You know that moment when you realize that everything else had just disappeared, that you were so into what you were working on that you just were barreling through and you got so much done and you felt great at the end. Possibly you completely even lost track of time. Figure out when those times happen and focus in on how you can schedule for those. I found that my zone happens at night. I think this is because the kids are asleep, the emails shut down because I don't want to be responding to emails at midnight and have people think that's an appropriate time to try to get a hold of me. The phone isn't going to ring, the distractions are gone, and I can just focus in and get into the zone. Every once in a while, I give myself permission to stay up late and get in the zone because I have a big project that I just really want to conquer. Number five, give yourself permission to stop. That's right. Every once in a while, we get so ugged out by the nitty gritty that we start allowing every single little distraction to pop up. You know what I mean. You decide, oh, I should probably check my email. Oh wait, I haven't updated to Facebook today. I need to put something on my business page or whatever it might be and you let all these distractions start popping in because you just don't want to do it. It's time to stop, walk away, and come back when you're refreshed and ready to tackle the problem. Number six, unplug so that you can tune in. Turn off all of the distractions, email, cell phone, social media, so that you can focus in on the big projects that are going to result in big growth. Number seven is my absolute favorite of all the strategies. It's all about visualization. Visualize what it's going to feel like, look like, and be like when you complete this project. That may just be the motivation that you need to get the mundane done. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Video Friday. If you liked it, like it, and if you loved it, share it with a friend. Remember, we carry our cameras to create, but we created our businesses to thrive. Don't just survive, thrive.
Today's question comes from Ohio. It comes from Ohio. It comes from and Ohio. Why do I want to say Ohio like Ohio? That? 